Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major veins of the head and neck and the direction of blood flow through them. All of the veins inside the cranial cavity drain into the dural venous sinuses. These are found between layers of cranial dura mater which is the outermost of the three meninges that cover the brain. All of these sinuses ultimately drain blood into the right and left internal jugular veins. Now let's take a look at the blood flow through these major sinuses. The superior sagittal sinus begins at the frontal bone and passes posteriorly to the occipital bone along the midline of the skull. It drains blood from the nasal cavity, the superior, lateral, and medial aspects of the cerebrum, the skull bones, and meninges into the right transverse sinus. The inferior sagittal sinus is a small sinus that drains blood from the medial aspects of the cerebrum and diencephalon of the brain into the straight sinus. The straight sinus runs in the tentorium cerebelli, which is a layer of the dura mater, and is formed by the union of the inferior sagittal sinus and great cerebral vein. It drains the medial and inferior aspects of the cerebrum and cerebellum into the left transverse sinus. The cavernous sinuses are large diameter sinuses found on both sides of the body of the sphenoid bone. The word cavernous means cave-like, which describes their larger diameter. Their large size creates room for the passage of major nerves and blood vessels that supply the orbit and the face. Many veins from the orbits, nasal cavity, cerebrum, and superior brainstem drain into the cavernous sinuses, which empty into the right and left transverse sinuses and the right and left internal jugular veins. The right and left transverse sinuses drain into the right and left sigmoid sinuses. The word sigmoid means S-shaped, which describes the shape of these sinuses. They're located along the posterior aspect of the petrous portion of the temporal bone and drain blood from the lateral and posterior aspects of the cerebrum and the cerebellum into the right and left internal jugular veins. The right and left internal jugulars begin at the base of the cranium and receive blood from numerous veins and sinuses of the face and neck. They anastomose with the subclavian veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The internal jugulars drain the brain, meninges, the bones of the cranium, and muscles and tissues of the face and neck. The right and left external jugular veins begin in the parotid salivary glands near the angle of the mandible and descend through the neck across the sternocleidomastoid muscles and then empty into the right and left subclavian veins. The external jugulars drain the scalp and skin of the head and neck, the muscles of the face and neck, the oral cavity, and pharynx. The right and left subclavian veins are deep veins located below the clavicle that are continuations of the axillary veins at the armpit. They unite with the internal jugular veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The subclavians drain the skin, muscles, and bones of the arms, shoulders, neck, and superior thoracic wall. The right and left vertebral veins 
originate just below the occipital condyles and descend through the transverse foramina of C1 through C6, along with the vertebral arteries, to enter the brachiocephalic veins in the root of the neck. The vertebrals drain the cervical vertebrae, the cervical spinal cord and meninges, and some deep muscles in the neck. The right and left brachiocephalic veins are deep veins that form through the merging of the subclavian and internal jugular veins, and then unite and empty into the superior vena cava, which delivers blood into the right atrium of the heart. Remember the word brachiocephalic refers to both the arm, brachio, and the head, cephalic. The brachiocephalics drain blood from the head, neck, upper limbs, mammary glands, and superior thorax.